Hello ladies and gents, today we're going to be discussing the tiers of arena breakout and how to transform yourself from a Timmy into a Giga Chad legend. Not a casual legend, like the Giga Chad legend. The guy I'm always talking about, the guys I'm talking about, the guys with the flashlight, the pushy demons. First, we need to evaluate your current level and then set goals to understand what needs to be done to get there. So what I'm going to do is to go through the tiers, explain what those are, and then also give recommendations on how to escape from that tier and level up, get to the next tier. Before we start, hit the like and subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, you're never going to escape the Timmy level, okay? Believe me, trust me. So, tier one, Timmy's, beginners, newbies, and basically all who are clueless about the game, which is perfectly fine. I'm not judging these people. It's just the entry point, okay? At that point, people play with weird loadouts. They usually play normal modes. They try to understand what the game is about. They don't really know the spawns, the maps, the ammunition types, the weapons, and basically nothing about the game, how you should dress up, blah, 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 blah. So for you guys who just recently started the game, my first recommendation would be to learn about the game. Give yourself some time, like 100 hours, 200 hours to kind of understand and, and get the sense of it. Because this is not an easy game and you may think that, okay, you are on the right track to master it. But I gotta tell you, you are not. Especially if you are playing normal mode, you are very far away from the Giga Chat level. But that's fine, okay? Take your time. Nobody started at that level. Most of the streamers who you watch, maybe, they have tons of experience from other games like PUBG, um, Code Mobile, and they've been playing FPS games for years already. For me, Arena Breakout is the very first FPS game I play on mobile. I didn't even have a mobile before. I was playing on iPad, and even on iPad, I didn't really play FPS games. There was one. But before that, I was focusing on other genres, like Mobile Legends and such. Also, I'm not that young anymore, so my response time, my body's response time and my finger response time just sometimes cannot compete with those guys who have been born into the world of digital and iPads. And still, I managed to reach Legend level, but I'm not Giga Chad. Okay, I, I kind of see the difference between a legend player and a Giga Chat legend player. It's completely different. This is also a message to the legend players. So if you reach legend and if you feel inside that oh, I'm 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 done, I'm done, I'm legend. I can destroy everybody. You're wrong. You're absolutely wrong because there is a huge difference between legend one star players and legend fifty star players and even beyond. There's still so much to learn. So let's move on and talk about the second tier. I call them or name them the Scrap Masters. And typically these guys have gear fear. They avoid fights. They play tactically. But that's not correct. So tac tactical is not equal to shy or insecure or defensive or passive. They do it because they are not experienced enough to put themselves into action when needed. So therefore they pretty much kind of fall behind and, and try to stay safe, which is perfectly fine. I've been there as well, but I'm just sharing things with blunt honesty and transparency. If you want to improve, the first thing you want to do is to accept that you are at that tier. Don't overestimate your skills or your experience. You need to decide, do I want to stay like that? Or do I want to improve? And I'm not saying that you are ratting. We have professional rats in the game with high-end loadouts, with AX-50s, for example. But that's not the same thing. If you are on tier 2, you are most likely afraid to enter the fights. You are focusing on the safe. You are focusing on the loot. You are afraid of losing your stuff. And in order to change that, all you want to do is to dress up and start fighting start entering the fight, start playing the game. We arrived to the third tier, the skill grinders. And I think majority of the players fall into this category, masters, aces, and even some of the legends. So basically what's happening in this tier is that they somewhat overcame the tier fear already, and they are trying themselves on different maps, different game modes, but 
there is not like one specific thing they are really good at. They sometimes have nice raids with 2, 3 or 4 kills, but it's not consistent. It's more like luck based or to be more precise, depending on the mood, depending on the map, depending on the enemy, they may or may not perform well. But it's really good to be in this tier because the typical thing is that they are aware of the maps, the spawns, the proper armor, which guns to use, and basically they are trying to explore on how to become better in the game. But there is a pitfall because if you don't define yourself goals, then you're gonna get stuck at this level forever. With this, let's hop over to tier four, which is the Rising Stars, Aces Legends, who are pushing the borders, who are constantly trying to evolve, but inside, deeply inside, they just feel that they are not there yet. And folks, here's the thing, I fall into this category. I'm not a Giga Chad. I don't, I, I, I'm not there yet. I'm not playing thermos. I barely ever play guns with flashlights. In most of the cases, I'm picking up T4 and not playing the T5. And sometimes I get scared if I meet an enemy with an alien helmet or a flashlight. But I'm already legend. I'm kind of the casual legend, not the casual legend, like beginner legend. I still need experience to get there. And I actually step onto that path because I knew that the next thing for me is to start playing TV Station Forbidden and also outside of TV Station start playing T5 and uh, expensive guns, more expensive guns with laser, with flashlight and start being more pushy, start being more aggressive and basically do everything needed to boost your confidence because that is needed to step up to the next level. But before I get there, if you are stuck here, legend, and you don't know what to do, then keep pushing your borders, keep trying guns that are expensive and don't be afraid losing them. Sometimes it just happens that we are unlucky, but it doesn't mean that you are a bad player, okay? I had multiple games where I felt I'm performing well, still I lost. Yesterday on Northridge, armored car extraction, I got killed at 3.1 seconds with approximately 500,000 in my bag. Same happened on TV station yesterday, I had 4 kills, T6 armor, T6 helmets, four different expensive guns, juicy loot, and I got killed when I tried to extract by a sniper from the other side of the map. But it doesn't mean that I'm a bad player, it just shows that I still need a bit more experience to have full control over the game. And with this we arrive to the top tier, tier 5 Giga Chats, Legends, 50 Star Legends, and basically those guys who have control over the game and I already sense bits and pieces of that inside myself again I'm not there yet but for example yesterday I started doing things I've never been doing before I entered the Northridge Hotel and I knew that there's a team who just recently left and what I did I started chasing them like instead of just staying there I actually started chasing them and hunting them down and I did. I successfully killed two of them. I think maybe it was a team of three. Maybe the third one escaped. But I felt inside that this is the right thing to do. Chasing them and trying to hunt them down. And you cannot do that if you don't have enough self-confidence. And if you don't have control over the game. And by control, I mean that you are the one controlling what's going to happen next. And you are not afraid of entering fights. You are not afraid because you know that you are better and you are stronger. And also yesterday it happened that I picked up an RPK, like a juicy one, flashlight, laser, everything, T5 helmet, T5 armor, and I was pushing um, Northridge Hotel, third floor. I knew that there were enemies, but I wasn't afraid. I was running upstairs to kill them, to destroy them, and I wasn't like slowly walking upwards. No, I, I knew I'm going to win that fight, so I did, because... I felt strong. I had the confidence, so I just had to grab the control. And there are just very minor nuanced differences between being a legend and being a Giga Chad. But for example, I knew that the guy is gonna run upstairs, so the timing of my nade was like pretty much perfect. 
and he had absolutely no chance to stay alive because I threw the nade, I knew the nade hit him, I was running towards him and I knew that if he's gonna peek he's gonna instantly die and he died. So that's kind of the difference, you are not like scoping and trying to understand if he's gonna come or not. No, you just simply know that the enemy is gonna come and you destroy them. For me it's gonna take months or even seasons to become one of those giga chats but still I hope you accept my advice uh, because I think in theory I know what needs to be done but execution is different. I just need to put in the time, I need to practice, I need to get better um, and this is how we improve. So hop into the battlefield and start improving, start practicing but evaluate your current tier and be honest with yourself. It's okay if you're tier 2, you know, you just need to set goals on what needs to be done to get better because like this doesn't work. I wish you good luck, folks. I know the tone of voice was a bit more serious this time. It was <laughs> like going crazy shady. Uh, but that's because of the topic. So serious topics require serious tone of voice. Thank you for your attention. You should do subscribe. See you next time. Video out. Bye.